Hello everyone and welcome back. Meet the department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today. So I have a good one for you today, guys. This is one of the most highly requested videos I've had in a while. And that is how do I AFK the open world orbs using a macro? So today I'm going to explain everything that I do and you could copy the exact same principles no matter what macro program you use or device. You know, a macro is a macro. Essentially what a macro is, is a recorded sequence of keystrokes or movements that can replay over and over again in simple terms. So what we use for the PC, what I prefer is a, an application called Tiny Task. It's what's right here in the middle of the screen. And I can put the link in the description below for you where to find this. But there's another one called Pullovers Macro. I'm sure there's several others, but for the sake of simplicity, Tiny Task works just fine. And this is what I use. So if you want to get snowflakes at rates of, I'm talking 1 million plus snowflakes per hour, basically mimicking active grinding, but while you're AFK, this is what you want to do. So without further hesitation, we have a lot to get through. So let's just jump right in. So first I'm gonna show you how to set up Tiny Task. Then I'm gonna give you some of the principles and some of the key things you need to keep in mind while doing the recording. So first, basically download Tiny Task, open it up and it's this little menu right here. Basically, I set it up every single time. I just do a fresh run and there's a lot of options. Like you could like save a recording and all that, but trust me, you probably just wanna do it fresh every time. So. When you open it, go to preferences, make sure your play speeds at one times, make sure you check continuous playback, which means it's gonna play the macro over and over again, and set up your recording hotkey and your playback hotkey to something that you can use fluidly. I press F8 to start and stop my recording, and I press print screen to begin the recording and stop it. So meaning this right here, if I was to push F8 to start my recording, I will now move up, down, up, left, right. F8 to stop. I hit print screen. It's going to go up, down, up, left, right. It's going to do what I just did. Up, down, up, left, right. It's going to keep on doing that over and over again. See, I'm not doing it. The recorder's doing it. I hit print screen to stop. That's the basic theory here. You do a recording and you play it back. But the critical part here is the teleport button, right? The teleport button brings you to the same spot every single time. You see this? No matter when you hit it, you always land in the same spot. So this is gonna be your start point of the recording and your end point of the recording because if you're even off by a little bit, as you saw when I was doing that recording, my guy was just moving all over the place. So keep that in mind, that's a tip. Other than that tip, with Tiny Task, basically you cannot use your right mouse to pivot the camera. So you see how you could pivot the camera? We always move the camera to change our direction. We pivot it around. Don't do that while recording. You basically take your hand off of your mouse while you're recording and just use the AWSD keys on your keyboard. But what I like to do is come out in front of the castle, come onto the bridge and orient myself so that the bridge is basically flowing left to right, you know, so it's nice and straight. So when I run out, it's a straight line. And something else you can do, this is completely up to you. Again, your preferences are your preferences. I do it two ways. I either go max size and do everything, or sometimes I do it just at my preferred actual active run uh, settings, which are 17 and 79. So that's what we're gonna do right here, 17% and 79. So this is basically where we could begin the recording now, right? So it's critical to click the home button. So now you're at a set spot, right? I like to zoom out with my scroll wheel and let's go ahead and begin. So I'm gonna hit F8 and now I'm moving with my keys on my keyboard. I'm not using my mouse at all. I'm literally just using AWSD keys on my keyboard. So I'm going down, I'm gonna get the three orbs out inside the castle, but now I'm gonna go straight across the bridge and that's why I wanted it to be straight. So this is the part now where when it zooms in, I scroll my mouse wheel out real quick and now I begin my orb circuit. So now you can see I'm not pivoting my camera. I'm not behind my character. I'm using a bird's eye view guys and I do this fluidly because I've been doing the macros for a long time so I'm comfortable with this run right here. So I'm basically scooping up all of the orbs. I'm not going in that volcano because that is a risky spot I choose to pass on. But I'm going to scoop up all these snowflakes and I'd say out of the 59 that are in the world I probably get 50 or more of them. 
I know there's a few I miss here and there, and that is intentional because to me, it's not worth the risk of running into an obstacle and going out of a uh, course. So at this point, I'll stop, I'll click on my green main weapon and max upgrade it. So I do wanna spread the love as well with the, uh, the gold that we're getting. So now we're gonna finish the lap here and go up and get the rest of the orbs. And then at the very end, we're gonna teleport back to the same spot we started and we're going to max upgrade the offhand weapon to spread the love. So I got one more orb to go and I'm gonna teleport back home, open up the bag. I'm gonna click on the blue weapon this time, max upgrade, and I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna hit F8 to stop the recording. And that's it. So that is my macro right there. Now I'm scrolling back out. So let me hit play, play. I'm gonna hit print screen, print screen. It's gonna play through. So now this isn't me. Here are my hands right here, right? This is the recording. You can see the timer on the screen. So there's a couple of things now. Again, while it runs through for the next minute, you see the orientation always stays the same. The bridge is left to right. So right here, I quickly scrolled out when I was recording and now I'm going and picking up the orbs. I could go ahead and scroll out right now as long as I don't right click and touch the, the orientate. Here we go, there we go, max. The other thing I did, I stopped about halfway and I upgraded my main hand weapon. And then I continued on and at the very end I upgraded my off hand and that's to spread the, the, the love with the gold. So while you're doing this AFK for hours and hours, you're gonna also wanna keep swinging and getting the gold. So yeah, you wanna upgrade your stuff. Now, you can apply this same principle if you're free to play and you have an auto clicker for a swinger. I mean, you're just gonna have to do a few more buttons like to start your auto clicker, stop your auto clicker. You know, I have the auto swinger game pass, so it's a little bit more simple for me. But even on a free to play, if you're swinging, you know, it's the same thing. Uh, it just basically start and stop your auto clicker manually. But as you see, it's getting most of the orbs. Every now and then it's going to go a little bit off course and maybe miss one that, that you did get initially in the recording. But for the most part, it's pretty accurate. And like I said, I'm getting about a million snowflakes or so an hour right now. And that is just with a team of uh, half rainbow Cocos and half rainbow Santas. Once you start getting the rainbow mega pets, the grouches, I'm going to uh, zoom out here again. I mean, your multipliers are going to skyrocket if there's a times two event. I mean, you can get upwards of like, I don't even know, 70, 80 million or more a day, you know, when you start building up your stuff. So this is OP. And the thing with this is, guys, macros, auto clickers, completely allowed and legal within Mythical Games, Giant Simulator. It's actually something moderators and people discuss in the official Discord. So this isn't something that you're not allowed to do. This is just a technique that, you know, isn't really well known yet. But hey, after today's video, a lot more you are going to know about the technique at least. And it's really just up to you to put in the time, the trial and error to get it to work. But I'm showing you everything you need to know. I didn't get this right off the bat myself when I started doing it, right? I've been doing it long enough though where I can now explain it to you guys. So I want you to get the max snowflakes you guys can get. Honestly, you know I'm here to give you the tips, the tricks and to encourage you to get those gains. So why struggle when you, there's these techniques you could take advantage of, right? So that's everything I had for today, guys. If you do have any questions, go ahead and join my meat department discord, leave comments below. I'll try to get back to you on that, but I'm telling you, it's just a matter of trial and error. Watch the video a few times over again and listen to what I'm saying if there's certain parts you're struggling with, but you're definitely probably not going to get it right off the bat it's going to take you some some time and getting used to the best settings for you the size the orientation all kinds of stuff uh, until you finally get it but you know you got to put in some effort if you want to get the rewards but look at look at this he's literally going through and getting all the orbs guys this is op so yeah this is it i hope it helps you grind i hope it helps you get the gains and that's all i have for today so thanks for sticking with me and until next time Stay positive, keep swinging, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.